Hello students and welcome back to a music class. So in today's class, we will be going to learn about scales. Okay. So in my first class, you may remember I had told you about notes or natural notes in music. Okay. So today we will be learning about scales. So scales, what is a scale? So scale is actually a melodic succession of notes in a key. Okay. Uh, and scales are mainly divided into two parts that is major scale and minor scale okay so today we are just learning about major scale so now in major scale we must first choose a note or a key among those set, uh, seven natural notes so that we can learn more deeply about the major scale so i choose c major scale okay so we are going to learn more about c major scale uh, like uh, how many notes are there in C major scales and uh, which note uh, like how many natural notes and how many sharp notes or like uh, how a C major chord is formed okay and which note repeats itself these things we are going to learn so let's dive more into it so students you must always remember that in a keyboard Whenever the two black reeds comes, before that the note is always C. Okay, like the keyboard starts from here. So there are two black reeds here, and the first and the note before that is always C. Same goes for here. Okay, same goes for here. Everywhere, if the two black reeds is there, then the note before that is always C. Okay, so we chose C major scale. <clears throat> so the first note is obviously C okay now C major scale is one of the very easiest scales to learn at the beginning because it doesn't have any sharp notes got it so all notes are natural and remember there are seven notes in a scale and the eighth note that means uh, the eighth note will always be the root note and it will repeat itself. That is why it's called diatonic scale. So let's see. The first note is C, second note is D, E, F, G, A, B. Again, we have C. Okay. So this C and this C is the same thing, but it's a it's an octave higher. This is an octave lower and it's an octave higher. See, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. See, there are 7 notes, but the 8th note will be C again because it is a diatonic scale and the first root note will repeat itself in number 8. Got it? So now, so the next thing that we have to learn is chord. Okay, so what is a chord? chord is a three or more notes played together of a scale so which notes to play and how a major chord uh, is structured that we'll learn now okay so we just learned that there are seven notes in c major scale and all are natural which is c d e f g a b and again c okay so <clears throat> in order to make a chord there's a trick or a formula that I will tell you today is that in a scale if it's a major scale and also in minor scale it is applicable so in major scale the chord of the root note that means the chord of the root note means we are using C here that means our root note is C here so C major chord is formed when you pluck first third and the fifth note of a scale so the first note is obviously C so the third note will become D will be the second and E will be the third. So C, E and the fifth note will obviously be G because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So C, E and G if played together, okay, together, then this will be called as C major chord, sorry, not scale, C major chord. So these notes, first, third and fifth note. Uh, is in a C major scale okay 
so in order to play a chord or make a chord you must always know the scale okay so this is how a chord is made so the notes are c e g but played together so this becomes a c major scale that's it for today's class students next topics we'll try to cover in our upcoming videos so yeah thanks for watching and uh, please note down my uh, like note down the things that i i'll mention in the video okay that i mentioned in the video and uh, stay home stay safe we'll see you soon thanks